But if you wanna take that risk, whatever. Okay, so upstairs we go. There's a nice hole in the ceiling there. I think I'd be more interested in like getting out of this creepy castle than following the demands of an M like of a lost figure in the distance of the mist that left behind a letter calling himself the former self of evil. Like a silhouette. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this, the young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. That's awful. Who's his victim? He, he had a lot of doubt in what he was doing, I wouldn't know. <sighs> this game is weird. broken, it's dark, there's webs, it's very bony, I don't like this. Hmm. It's a shame it's not Skyrim and you can't read the books. It's okay, I never read the Skyrim books anyway, but it would be a cool feature. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right. But I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. Ye old British people. Oh man, this room's dark. I don't like it. Something here. Ah, tinderbox. I should probably use this more often, shouldn't I? But I'm a lantern fellow. Is there really nothing of value in here? Well, the other room was kind of a let down besides the story. The cattle. Oh, that's right, they're in, like, Prussia or something like that, okay. I was like, why is that not in English? Lovely, actually. Got to take. I probably am due for a change of clothes after that last night's drinking incident. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. 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 Much. Actually, let's take it closer, just in case. Nope. 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 All right. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me 
if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. Man, talk about a frustrated guy. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped. She left it there. What I wonder is why does he have these notes all over the place? Why doesn't he have them all stapled together in a nice organized fashion? And he says he's, he's afraid his memory will fail him, though I doubt any story like that. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> Would slip out of your mind. So, Daniel, you are a very peculiar fellow. Very strange. Oh. Right now. Oh my freaking <sighs> Can't keep doing this to me. Some good for my health. What's going on? I heard something. <sighs> and there's a piano playing. And a book came out. Fake chest. Oh, there's one nice little thing in here. <coughs> oh, there's a real chest. This is what I need. Ah, oh, it has a barrel. Thank you. How it brightens up the close. Some games fail to do that and it gets quite annoying. Come on, the last drawer, and nothing. Broken painting with nothing in it. It can't be open, it's locked. Alright. Oh! Clear the awkwardness. I'm going to play a song for you. Okay, okay. Fine. Um, oh, you all are like right now just going. Oh my god, stop! Please. Have I been here already? Oh, I have. I remember that's the desk with the ink. Strange how all these windows are boarded up. What's that? What's that sound? Jesus. Ah, trees. I should just. I should just make my break for it right now. Why do I keep doing this to myself? 
Oh. There are drops of blood coming from up there. That's concerning. Where would that be coming from? It's fresh. Providing lanterns. They're not scaring me. Again, nothing, you cheapos. Give me something. Besides the tinderbox, please. That'd be that'd be appreciated. Get me in here. Ah, chest. Surely you are promising. Ah, two tinder boxes and oil. The piano's gotten louder. Someone's following me. Of course, there's a piano right here. No more. Ah, more oil. Chills that time. <laughs> okay, so they sealed me off. Let's deal with that. It's better than Fluffy getting all up in my face. Ah, the fi Oh my! I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 17th of May, mm. 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, come on. Haven't we learned from this by now? Like, What happens to moss when they go to bright light? Honestly, don't we all... Or like when you die, there's always that bright light. Can I just like can I walk this way? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. <laughs> Says you. Oh gosh, it's actually pulling me toward it. Jeez. No, you can you need to stop that. You need to stop that. No. I don't know what happens when you walk into the light. This is no good, Daniel. I know what's best for you. you, need to, you need to be able to. Oh God, it's like a magnet. My, my feet won't let me go. Very well. I'll let you go to your little light. Certainly cannot be good. What if this light that he found is what caused all this, like, to happen? I wonder. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Gosh, there's little sparkles in the air. Well, that's a very nice story, I think, isn't it? You get trapped, you find some ancient relic, you see some really cool stuff. It's great. I 
like that. You don't see that in the real world. I wish I could just like find some relic in a cave and give me enough knowledge to just skip the rest of my education. Become the next Albert Einstein. And my vision's going over. Uh, oh, that was everything. Oh, wait a minute. Fragile, but not cannot be breakable by hand. So I just like... Ah! <laughs> I really just took a wild guess at that. I was like, what if I just keep punching it? Open. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that way. Hmm. Ah, more oil. Okay, so I assume... Alright, right off the bat, this book. Oh! Well, how many are there? You didn't say. Oh, this. Oh, that's not crap. Uh, there. Um. Ah! Oh. Oh. Now that I know where they are. I think. That's all I saw. That. Yes! Puzzle solved. I need to break this somehow. There we go. Ah! <laughs> I'm such a brute. I'll. Stad and Brennenberg Castle 1801. This is some old stuff. Another region rich with lore is Alstad. Deep within the East Prussian woods for centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quite forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque as could be. Albert the area. Oh, Albate the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. It's just like Beowulf. The gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and start, described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? How many of these are there? I don't think we need to read all these. I'll keep it. Oh, so there's superstition about this place. Are you? Oh, okay. So I'll knock this. Yeah, the superstition, rumors of people wandering the woods and looking awful. I wonder if this is this fluffy chase me is that. Oh. Oh my god! What's happening? Jesus Christ! Oh my gosh! I wanna hide! Oh my god! Jeebus! Okay! Ugh! My, my composure is back! Whoa!
Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their abs absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Rannenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to f avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. What are you planning? What is there to hide, sir? I wonder. Oh, the monster must have opened the door for me. Oh, brought me back. I just got another chill. <clears throat> okay, I can do this. Historia Loki. Oh, stop that! Oh God, is that the music? Is that the music of what's his face? Oh. Oh. Jesus. I think that'll be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like my videos, please comment. I like to know who's watching my videos, and that's the best way to see who each person is. So yeah, and I can always use the feedback. Thank you for watching.